Well, it has been one week today since anyone saw 35-year-old Tony Klein. This morning, the Greenwood father's family wants to know if a body discovered yesterday might be his. Our Matt McCutcheon walks us through this case and why the family thinks today may be the day that gives them some closure. Yeah, I bet, and Julia, the family says there are so many dots. They say that really just connects everything together, and they could learn more today. Now, we're learning this morning that in the area along the south side of the city is where Tony Klein would last be seen alive a week ago today, right down here at the Greenwood Lowe store in which he worked. Then just about nine miles away up to the north, a body would be found inside of a home off of Tabor Street, which is near Raymond in Keystone. The family believes that could in fact be Klein. Now police have arrested the homeowner, Dwight Schatz, just last night. The 42-year-old is being held this morning on a murder charge. Detectives have been questioning him about what happened inside that home, all while Klein's family now bracing for the worst. It's terrific. You don't know. The not knowing is almost worse. It's They're not knowing. worse, but yeah. the not knowing. I think that's the most horrific parts about it all. The kids are not going to get a chance to grow up with their dad. And we'll step in as much as we can. <clears throat> we can never take his place. No one can. But we can be there, and we will. He's talking about Klein's three young sons he leaves behind. Last Wednesday, his cell phone could be traced to his abandoned pickup truck on Raymond Street. That's about a block from the home there on Tabor Street, where again, police found the body. Klein's family waited at that scene Monday for hours, hoping and praying for any information. As you can imagine, this has been a long night for them. They could learn the identity from the corner coming up later today. Of course, we'll bring you the very latest. Were there any ties between these two Matt men, or men, Matt? Did they, did they know each other? That's what we expect to learn today in sort of as everything rolls on. It makes his initial court appearance as we learn more information from a court document. So it could be by the end of the week before we learn maybe what might be a motive in this mm -hmm. bizarre case. All right, so sad for that family that just had to wait there yesterday outside that scene. All right, thanks, Matt.